In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use Adobe Audition CC. From learning the interface, to adding different effects and removing noise, to finally being able to export your project, by the end of this video, you're going to be a master of Adobe Audition, and all I ask is that you hit the like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So of course, the first thing you have to do is download Adobe Audition, and I'll put a link to the trial in the description as well because it is a cloud monthly subscription. But once you have Adobe Audition downloaded and installed, you can just open it up and it's going to show you this interface. Now, the first thing we have to do is make sure that our microphone is set up and then we can go through the actual interface. So to ensure that your microphone is connected, all you want to do is go into edit and then go down into preferences and click on general. And here what you have to do is go into audio hardware and make sure your microphone is connected as the default input device. So for me, I'm using a Blue Yeti and it is currently connected. And you also wanna go into audio channel mapping and ensure that both channels are linked to the same microphone. And once you're good to go, you can press okay. Now the first thing we're going to do is create a new file. And to do this, you can just go into file, new, a new audio file and we're just going to name this test. And this is going to be a single track recording. And we're going to be visiting multi-track recordings later on. So now that we have our audio file created, we can quickly walk through the interface. So starting on the top left, you have all of the audio files that you're going to be using in the project. So right now we're on the test audio file. And if we had multiple audio files that we wanted to edit in layers, we can go into the multi-track view, which we're going to be visiting later. Now to add additional files, all you have to do is right click and then go to import. Or what you can also do is you can find a audio file that you wanna add and you can just click on it and then you can drag it and it's going to be added to your project as well. Now, if you want to find media right through Adobe Audition, all you have to do is go to media browser underneath and this panel has a few other settings as well. So you can see the different effects that you're going to be applying to your project as well as the markers. And then finally, the properties of your audio file. And then right underneath here, we have the history tab. So the history tab basically shows everything you've done. So this isn't my first take and I've already recorded the audio a couple of times and you can see the history in this tab over here. And if we're going to be editing a video file, the video tab will show the playback of the video, although you can't edit it. Now over here, we're going to see the actual audio file. And then right underneath, we have the play, pause, and record buttons, as well as the audio level. And then on the right side, we're going to see the additional settings and properties. Now, the next thing we're going to do is learn how to record an audio file within Adobe Audition. So we already have this test file opened, but there's no audio. And to record something, all you have to do is click on this record button, or you can press shift space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on record. And this is me recording the audio right now. And right underneath, you can also see the level of the audio. And you just wanna make sure that it doesn't go past the red. And then I clicked on the recording button again to stop it. And now we have our recording. And if we click on it, we can also play it back. And this is me recording the audio right now. And right underneath, you can also see the level of the audio. And you just wanna make sure that it doesn't go past the red. Okay, perfect. Now that we have the audio recorded, we can add some basic edits to it. And what you can just do is you can highlight the audio to select a component you wanna edit and then apply the standard keyboard shortcuts. For example, I can press Control C to copy this part of the clip. And then if I press Control V, it's going to add that portion again. And then if I press Control Z, it'll undo it. And then if I highlight, for example, the end of this audio and I wanna get rid of it, I can press Control X to cut it out. And so those are some basic edits you can make. Also within this screen, you see this little rectangle over here. And if you turn this knob, you can just quickly make the audio louder as well, like so. And then right above it, you also see these two squares. And if you drag those, that is how you can add a fade to the audio. Now, if you wanna add some more complex effects, we're going to be going into noise removal later on, but all you have to do is highlight the clip and then you can go to effects. And for example, we can go to noise reduction and denoise. And then what we can do is we can have the effect open up. We can see how much of the effect we wanna add, what it sounds like with 
the effect on, and then we can toggle it off to compare the two. So for example, this is the clip normally, and this is me recording the audio right now. And then if I turn the effect on and maybe make it 60% and play it back again, and right underneath, you can also see the level of the audio and you, you can see the noise is already gone. And so to apply the effect, all you have to do is press apply. So that's how you add basic edits and effects to your audio. But now what we're going to do is we're going to move into the multi-track view. So all you have to do is click on multi-track and now it's going to create a new multi-track session. And we're going to just name this multi-track and it's already in the right location for me, but you want to choose your file path and then you can click OK. And now it's going to create a new multi-track session, which is a new file. So the previous file we were working with was a single audio file and it's still over here in the files that we have. And if you wanted to add it to our multi-track file, all we have to do is drag it and that same audio is back. Now the way multi-track works is you're basically working in different audio layers. And so if we scroll down, we can see that Right now there's six tracks and then at the very bottom there's the master track so any changes we make to the master track it basically impacts all of the other tracks now in now to navigate around the multi-track view you can use this bar at the top so for example you can drag to zoom like so and then once you drag you can also just move around by not clicking on the edge but clicking on the center and then dragging again now to change the length of a track in terms of the view, you can press Alt and use the scroll wheel like so. And then each track has its own really basic settings as well. So for example, if we wanted to change the volume of just track one, we would go to the volume knob over here and we can just turn it up like so. Now, if we wanted to change the volume of all the tracks at once, we could also just go into the master and drag the master knob and it'll change all of the tracks. Now within this view, you can also do the same edits as the single track waveform view. So for example, you still have the same squares and you can add the fades. But what you can also do is you can go to the volume line and you can change the volume over here by clicking and dragging as well. So now that you guys have an understanding of how the multi-track view works, we can go ahead and we can record another clip and say, for example, we want to record something in track two, all we have to do is make sure that the R is selected for record, go to where we want to start recording, and then we can just record by pressing the record button. Right. And this is me recording in track two right now. So as you can see, because we pressed R, it is now going to be in the second track. And then we can press record again to stop. What you can also do is you can add tracks that you've imported. So for example, the sound effect that we added previously, we can just drag that on to the third track, click OK, and it's been added as well. And we can edit these tracks in multiple ways based on which tool we have selected at the top. So right now we have the selection tool, the time selection tool selected, which we can also access by pressing T, which basically allows us to highlight different components of the clip. But if we wanted to actually move the clips around, we would go over here to the move tool, or you can press V. And now with the cursor, what we can do is we can actually move these different clips through different tracks. So I can move this up, for example, like so, or I can just move it back down. And then you also have the razor tool, which is used to cut the clips. So once you have the razor tool selected, you can just click on a clip like so, and then you can click on it again. And now we've split this twice, and this one clip is now three clips. So if we go back into the move tool, you can see that we can only move the part that we cut with the razor tool, which can also come in handy. Okay, so now you have an understanding of how Adobe Audition works. You know how the different waveform and multi-track interfaces are used, as well as how to apply basic edits and effects to the clips that you record or drag onto your timeline. Now I'm going to show you how I remove the noise of my audio, and this is going to give you a better understanding of how different effects in Adobe Audition also work. So I'm just going to record a new clip now, and so let me just press the record button. And this is going to be me recording the clip. And this is going to be the clip that we're going to be editing afterwards. And then let me just quickly play this back. So you guys can hear the raw version. And this is going to be me recording the clip. And this is going to be the clip that we're going to be editing afterwards. Perfect. So once we have the clip selected, 
the first thing we're going to do is denoise it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into effects, noise reduction, and then denoise. And what's really nice is that it's very, very easy to use. All you have to do is drag the slider. And usually I have it around 55%. Uh, you could move it to 100% to remove all the noise, but this also impacts your voice and it'll make it sound very, very robotic. So you want to find like this sweet spot. And now what I can do is I'm actually just going to go to the start of the clip and I'm going to turn this effect off and I'm going to play the before and then the after. So this is the before. And this is going to be me recording the clip. And then if we go back to the start, we turn it on and play it again. And this is going to be me recording the clip you can see that it removed a lot of the noise. So that looks good to me. And so we're just going to keep it on and we have this effect added. And you can also see it in the effects rack over here where all the effects show up. And then the second thing I'm going to do is to remove that last little bit of noise, you can also go back into effects. You can go into the uh, filter and EQ, and then you can go into parametric equalizer. And here what you can do now is you want to just move the HP band. So all you have to do is select HP. And then what you can just do is you can drag this band uh, to a nice sweet spot where the audio sounds ideal for you. So it depends on the clip, but generally for me, it's in the like 80 to 100 range. And you don't want to really go over 150. So if I go to 100, for example, like so, I turn this off and then we can play this clip back. And this is going to be the clip that we're going to be editing afterwards. And then we rewind and go to the start and we turn it on. And this is going to be me recording the clip. And this is going to be the clip that we're You can see that basically all of the noise is now gone. And so that looks good to me. And that's usually how I edit my clips. And if they're not loud enough, I'll also just amplify them a little bit. But that's how you add effects in Adobe Audition. So before we move into working with Adobe Audition and Premiere Pro together, I'm going to quickly show you how to export your file. So all you want to do is go to File, Export, Multitrack, Mixdown, and then we're going to be exporting the entire session. You want to select a file name. So I'm just going to name it Multitrack Mixdown 2. Make sure it's in the appropriate file location and then press OK. And it's going to export your file. Now what I'm going to show you is how I use Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition together. So for example, if I'm editing a movie or a video in Premiere Pro, if I want to quickly edit the audio in Adobe Audition and then bring it back, this is how I do it. So all you want to do is you want to open up your Premiere Pro file. And so this is an old video that I was working on and the audio usually for my camera isn't that great. So if you just play this back, not only just read them, but you can hear there's a lot of white noise. And so all you have to do to bring this file into Adobe Audition is go into edit and then edit in Adobe Audition and then click on sequence. And it's going to create a new sequence of these audio clips and it's just quickly preparing the file and then it's automatically going to open in Adobe Audition. So now the file has been converted into Adobe Audition as a sequence. And here we can make all of the edits we want. We can also see the differences where there's a layer for the movie file and we can see the video playback in the video tab. And if we play it back, decisions. you do see the video, but it's not going to make any edits to it. You can only edit the audio. So say for example, in this case, we just wanted to make it louder. I can just turn up the volume like so. And then I would just go into file, export, and then I would export this as a session like previously. And then we're just going to change the file location to my downloads. And then I would just click on OK. And it's going to export it. And once the file is done exporting, I'll just go back into Premiere Pro. I'll go into the media tab. And then I'm going to just import some more media. So I'm just going to press Control I really quickly, go into downloads. We can see the file. And then I would just drag it here and I would just get rid of the old track. And that's how you work between the two programs. So it's very, very easy to do. But that's just a quick overview of Adobe Audition. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.